An estimated 100,000 people gathered in Warsaw Sunday to show support for Poland's EU membership. Among them was Donald Tusk, the former president of the European Council and now leader of the opposition party Civic Platform. What is it that brought us all here today? A pseudo court of justice, a group of masqueraders in judicial robes by order of the party's leader in violation of the constitution decided to take Poland out of the EU. The protests were triggered after judges in Poland's highest court last week ruled that the national constitution had primacy over European Union law. The supremacy of EU law is the legal bedrock of the bloc. Brussels officials Monday threatened sanctions against Poland. We are waiting now for new decisions of the Court of Justice about the situation in Poland, also possible uh, uh, daily financial sanctions. Those fines could amount to over a million dollars a day. The legal case was originally brought by the Polish Prime Minister, Mateusz Morawiecki. He has refused to implement two rulings made by the European Union's Court of Justice in July, which accused the Polish government of political interference in the judiciary. The Prime Minister has denied such interference and said Poland is not seeking an exit from the European Union. Writing on Facebook, he described that idea as a harmful myth. Government supporters have staged counter-protests and say the government was right to challenge the EU. They appropriate rights that they do not have the right to appropriate, and they want to interfere more and more. So how close is Poland to leaving the European Union? The threat of Pol exit, of Poland leaving the European Union, is overblown. Poland is a country where more than 80% of the population is in favor of the EU membership. Poland is very much dependent on uh, uh, the inter uh, internal market and also on the EU funds, including the recovery fund agreed upon last year. That COVID recovery fund is worth $66 billion. The EU has threatened to withhold the money unless Poland implements the changes to its judicial system. Poland and some other member states, including Hungary, have repeatedly clashed with the EU over the rule of law, media freedom and minority rights. The battle we have now is basically about will the European Union allow this to happen, that uh, populist, autocratic governments disregarding uh, European standards and European laws mm, lead to an erosion of the EU foundations. Those foundations have been shaken by the Polish ruling. European officials say the bloc must stand by its core principles or risk collapse. But so far, the Polish government shows little sign of changing course. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.